Hi everybody, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to use Canva for your digital journal. To be specific, how to use the av already available templates in Canva for your digital journal entries. So I will be selecting one template available dito sa Canva and then I will tweak it para mas maging personalized siya. So in the previous video that I did, I started from scratch. Now, pipili tayo ng elements or ng templates na andito and then babaguhin ng natin siya. So this one is really nice. However, I don't like the color of the background. So I just selected it and changed the color. Ayan, I changed it to something na mas gusto ko and mas parang ma-appeal sa akin. So, ayan siya. And then, yung template, kahit na may mga elements na naandun, you can tweak it, you can resize, you can move it. If you don't like the elements, gusto nyo silang palitan, pwede nyo namang i-delete, pwede nyo i-resize, ayan, like what I'm doing. And then, pwede rin kayo maghanap ng ibang elements na ilalagay nyo, especially if you feel like kulang pa yung mga elements na nakalagay dyan, pwede kayo maglagay ng bago. Like, this flower, it's more realistic. So, ilalagay ko siya dyan and I'll be deleting the flower na nandun sa template. So, what's nice about uh, yung template na already provided ni Canva is that if you are not really into decorations and you just want something na available na, you can choose that. And if you want naman, or if you're the type naman who wants to customize and make it more personalized, pwede nyo siyang baguhin and pwede nyo siyang tweak. So, if you are new nga pala uh, with Canva, Canva is a website wherein you can make documents, you can make posters, and you can make presentations. It's available for free. You can uh, uh, upgrade it to premium if you like. Pero kung gusto nyo lang siyang itry, you can always sign up for the free account. So, even though free lang yung account mo, you still have the opportunity to make digital journals kasi uh, yung mga ginagamit ko na elements ay available man for free account. So, ayan siya. Pwede kayong gumamit niyan or pwede rin kayong actually mag-upload ng photos nyo na gusto nyo ilagay, especially if you're making a scrapbook-like digital journal. So, why Canva is um, good for digital journaling. Like I mentioned, maraming elements yung free account. But also, this is a great alternative if you want to start digital journal but you don't want to buy applications like GoodNotes or Procreate because I think those applications medyo pricey sila. And this one, free mo lang siyang magagamit and you can also use this sa computer. So, kahit na hindi ka naka-iPad, pwede, pwede mong magamit si Canva. So, it's a great way to uh, practice your digital journal and uh, gusto nyo ring gumawa ng other types of presentations. Canva is perfect for that. So, going back to our uh, uh, Template. Going back to our digital journal, as you can see, I already added several stickers, uh, flowers, yung mga stickers. You can also choose mga papers if you want it like vintage inspired. Pwede kayo maglagay ng papers dyan. And yung sa Canva kasi, uh, pag may, may, may kinlik ka na element, nagbibigay sila ng magic recommendations. So, magic recommendations is this feature wherein you can find similar elements based doon sa pinili mo. So, ayan yung mga pwede mong lumabas. For example, I click that paper element. So, yun yung mga magic recommendations niya. And mas nagiging, ano siya, mas nagiging personalized yung elements na lumalabas sa yung screen based on the magic recommendations. So, ayan. I'm just moving the elements. Uh... 
Yan, I'm also changing the colors. Pwede mo naman siyang baguhin. Kapag hindi mo nagustuhan yung color or kapag nagbago yung isip mo, you can always change the color. So now, I want to talk about the content of this digital journal. So this actually, this is actually an entry from many months ago, right after I finished reading Agnes Gray. So Agnes Gray is a novel by Anne Bronte. She's one of the Bronte sisters and her work is based from her experience working as a governess. So the novel is a story of a governess named Agnes Gray and her experiences working with two families. So yung first family, she was in charge na alagaan yung mga bata and then she struggled with uh, handling the kids because yung parents ng mga bata, their way of discipline is very lax compared dun sa way ni Agnes Gray ng pagdidiscipline ng mga bata. So, she struggled with that. And so, she left the first job. In the second job naman, she still worked as a governess. But this time, she worked with older children. So, meron siyang inalagaan na dalawang girls. And, naging close naman siya dun sa dalawang girls. She did not struggle with the discipline of the uh, with the girls naman. But she kind of struggled dun sa second job niya because when she was working with that second family, she met her love interest and being a very introspective person, she cannot express yung feelings niya doon sa love interest na. She cannot also share yon with the kids who turned out to be her friends naman, who turned out to be, like, friends na nakakausap niya with so many things. Hindi niya masabi yon Because she was also unsure if one of the girls don is parang meron siyang crush dun sa love interest. So Agnes Gray can't express her um, feelings dun sa love interest. But eventually, the novel naman is nagkaroon siya ng happy ending. She ended up with the love interest, and then by the end, she stayed with her family, then they set up their own school. So it's a really nice uh, book about being steadfast and uh, being true to yourself. And the, the book also gave an idea about the struggles of working as a governess during that time. And, you know, if you are working dun sa profession na similar kay Agnes Gray, you can relate to her because may mga challenges siya na may experience or na-experience mo na rin if you're working with kids or if you're like a teacher like parang si Agnes Gray. So, I think that's it for this video. I hope you like this one and I hope you try Canva as well. You try digital journaling. I swear it's really nice. You will enjoy it. So that's it and see you guys on my next one. Bye!